I'm Mark Birch and this is the introduction to my data analysis SAS program. The following video will show a program that analyzes correlations between the distance between selected stores and the road accidents. The stores selected are Aldi, Asda, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Waitrose and McDonald's. Due to the length of the code, this slideshow will give an overview of the ETL steps taken to produce the resulting data set to be analyzed. These are the raw data sets that are used. Road accidents from 2014, locations of McDonald's and locations of supermarkets. In these data sets, variables were removed using the drop keep function and the remaining variables were renamed as to make the merging of the data set as simple as possible. Unwanted retail is removed and the remaining retailers were divided into their own data sets so that there could be a sample of 300 taken off of each. Then the, the full and sampled data sets were merged back together to create two supermarket data sets. Another sample of Fringe was taken from the McDonald's data set and merged with the supermarket samples and the accident data set. The full version of the supermarkets, McDonald's and accidents data sets were also merged. The final two data sets that were to be created were the means of the longitude and latitude for each retailer's stores for both the full and sample data sets. Near the program will run in real time. Before the data was analysed, it was assumed that the biggest driving factors beyond the distance between the average accident location and the stores would be based on the amount of stores of each retailer. The theory is the reason why there is a normalised sample of 300 from each of the retailers to give the best possible results. The most important data to analyse is the mean longitude and latitude of the accidents and comparing that to the mean longitude and latitude of the stores. Using the longitude and latitude of both the retailers and the accident locations, it's possible to use the geodisc function to give a distance between the two in miles. This shows that Sainsbury's, Tesco and McDonald's in both the sample set and the full set are on average significantly closer than the other retailers, which is also represented in this bar chart. Tesco, Sainsbury's and McDonald's are significantly closer to accidents than the other stores. It also shows that there is quite a high level of confidence between most of the sample and the normal sets, apart from Sainsbury's, which has a significant difference. To help visualise the data further, an SG plot was created to show the locations relative to the accidents. The grouping of retailers around the accidents is apparent. If you consider the graph as here being north and here being south, it shows that generally as the Lidl and Aldi have their mean locations much further north than McDonald's, Sainsbury's and Tesco while well, Rytrolls has their stores much further south. This point can be further seen when looking at SG plots of all the locations of Sainsbury's, Asda and the accidents. The locations accidents give a rough outline of the British Isles and here is where the dense amounts of accidents happen would be London. Sainsbury's targets the majority of its store locations in and around London compared to Asda who target the further north for their stores. So while the initial fear is about how many stores they have in total, the major driving fact is how many stores there are in a particularly large dense population where accidents are frequent, in this case London. While unfortunately this was not created in SAS, I plotted the mean locations of the stores and the accidents on a Google Maps. This map helps visualise the locations of Tesco and Sainsbury's to the mean accident location which helps shows just how close they are compared to the other retailers to the accidents. Thank you.